Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for the 12th of June. These are general readings. You know, if they resonate with you, that's great. If they don't, maybe next time. And thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like to have a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the description box below. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you get notifications for all the new stuff that I put out there. If you are returning, then thank you for sticking with me on this journey. Uh, also, you can check out my uh, website at strengthandwisdom number one at webs.com. And uh, check out the Glow Pendulum and uh, my mystery healing boxes and a couple other uh, services that I have. And uh, you can check out the videos for the Glow Pendulums on Instagram, Strength and Wisdom Tarot there. So, check them out. Okay. And unfortunately, I do not know when I will be doing the lives on Wednesday again. Um, got an issue going on with uh, YouTube. So, see if I can get it straightened out. I'll keep you posted on that. So, let's see what's going on. We got the Fool. The beginning of the beginning here. Somebody taking a leap of faith, a chance, a risk. Embarking on something new, a new direction. Happy to go. Very uh, enthusiastic. High hopes, so to speak. So somebody is at the beginning of a journey. Possibly going in an opposite direction. This could be, you know, career-wise, too. Now remember, this could be friendship, partnership, loveship, career, family, however it applies. But a new beginning, nonetheless, could be with a water-like person. We have the King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody water-like. Somebody who is very good at, you know, keeping that poker face. You know, even if something gets to them, they don't show it. You know, they speak fluently in matters of the heart. They have compassion. So, maybe somebody's embarking on a new journey with a water-like person or a water-like person embarking on a new journey. Now, I have the Nine of Cups, but in the reverse. So, in the upright, this will be a wish being granted. You know, this is emotional fulfillment. It's not the Ten right Unicorns, but pretty close. But it came in reverse. So, going towards an end of a cycle... Having nine empty cups still. Something still wasn't emotionally fulfilling. Hmm. Now somebody took a chance. Could have been a water sign. Or somebody took a chance on a water sign. And maybe it's not going the way they wished it go, would go. Or they hoped it would go. Or one party is thinking this. Hmm. Or maybe they gave a chance. Hmm. Now we have the Eight of Rods, and this came in reverse as well. This is reciprocated communication. You know, going back and forth, email, texting, Skyping, face-to-face, -face, don't matter. But communication has ceased. Somebody could have cut off communication with a water-like person, or could have been a water-like person, you know, solid, hey, this is not what I wanted, what I took a chance on. Maybe they, they jet it out and somebody's still trying to, con, you know, contact them and they're just not replying. Ah, because somebody gave up. Nine of Wands in reverse. In the upright, that's that warrior spirit, you know. The one rod in his hand is the one he takes down all the way to the end. Someone's like throwing in the white towel. Somebody did give up. Something wasn't going the way they thought it was going to go. But I still think they may have left somebody hanging. Like maybe somebody didn't see the red flags or thought there were red flags. Somebody just gave up. They gave somebody a chance. Hmm. How interesting is that? Well, maybe they gave us maybe they gave somebody a chance and they blew it. Hmm. We've got the three of coins right under the fool here. 
This is being recognized for your skills, your qualities, your crafts. Somebody could be learning a new skill, going in a different direction than what they normally would do. They took a chance, maybe to learn something new. Or to be recognized for the skills and qualities of crafts. Maybe a water-like person recognized somebody else. Somebody gave them a chance. But it seems to me that maybe the water sign bailed here, that it wasn't going the way they could. Now, somebody could be very clingy here. And maybe something went on too, you know, too fast. And they were like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> we have the Seven of Swords, the Thief card in reverse. Somebody got caught. And it's right under the water sign. That's a different story. Somebody trying to get away with something. Maybe that's why somebody cut communications with them. They gave somebody a chance. They might have been doing something on the DL. They got caught. Now they gave recognition to someone. Someone gave them a chance. But they were doing something on the DL here. Now we have the Five of Swords. Yep. Conflict. One-upping somebody, winning at all costs, hitting below the belt, saying things that aren't necessarily true just because they wound. That kind of conflict. And it's right under the, somebody didn't wish for it. <laughs> somebody might have tried to get away with something, but this person's not letting them get away with anything. Maybe they don't respond to somebody, you know, calling them. Somebody gave up on the fact, but somebody's still in pursuit here. They're probably a little PO'd. What is going on here? Hmm. Now we have the Six of Pentacles, but in reverse. In the upright, this is the even exchange of generosity, a 50-50 deal, right? You always want to make sure that you're receiving as much as you're giving, but somebody is taking more than they give. And that's right under the uh, reciprocation. So, somebody might have stole something from someone. They gave them a chance. And now they're in conflict with them because somebody took more than they, they gave. They got caught. Now they could have been, you know, taken apart or taking somebody's kindness for a weakness. Their generosity. Maybe they took it too far. Hmm. That is so interesting. And now, there's a new course of action to take. You have the Ace of Wands here. Now this could be a you know creative endeavor, but this is putting something into motion. Get the ball rolling. Bottom of the deck, hang man, because somebody sees something from a different point of view. Like this person. Wow. Wow. Give an inch, take a mile, I want to say. So let's get into it. So somebody took a leap of faith, took a chance on someone. Could have been with a water-like person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who is very water-like. But this wasn't a wish coming true. At some point, somebody figured it out. Somebody might have been still corresponding with someone, but somebody's not answering them back. Somebody decided to throw the towel in on this friendship, partnership, you know, family member, however it applies, even work. But somebody wanted to be noticed for their skills, their qualities, their crafts, or being, you know, genuinely a great person. But somebody caught them doing something on the deal. Shenanigans. Shadiness. This causes a fight with someone. Conflict. Somebody might have been wasting somebody's time here because you know what? They took more than they gave. Now they don't want to speak about it. But there is a brand new, a brand new, bah, get it out. Brand new action to take. Maybe somebody's going to be taking them to court. Maybe someone's just not going to take something lying down because they see something. From a different point of view. 
this person's in a different light now. Whoa. So let's break it down, folks. So somebody here took a chance, took, a, you know, a risk. They were noted for their skills and qualities or being a great person. But somebody who's pretty good at, you know, not showing their emotions, keeping everything calm, cool, and collected, got caught doing something. This person didn't wish for this. In fact, they're going to fight tooth and nail about this. Because somebody won't return an email, a text, or won't even face them face to face. You know, about taking more than they gave. And maybe they want it back. Where if somebody thought that they were just going to give up on this and walk away from it, oh, somebody's going to bring a new course of action for this person. What do they take them to court? What do they run into them, catch them, corner them? This person has to see something from a different point of view because they just picked the wrong person here to take instead of give or even being fair. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And um, don't forget to check out me out on Instagram or my website, Strength and Wisdom Number 1 at webs.com. Till then, take care.